You're going to get to see that now. I won't be surprised to see him advance a lot further in bracket. Uh, meanwhile, we are getting Zach back. Uh, he was supposed to be our first round that uh, before OBS crashed on me. Uh, so we're going to get him back. I'm glad he made it this far in the bracket to get a stream match. But here we go. PS2 Cloud go. versus Sonic. All right, so Son this Sonic here is doing the same as the other Sonic, but let's see how creatively he uses it against a really crafty Cloud, as you mentioned, with Agent 1. Already Sonic is down because of that sword, and now it's tied at 49%. Sonic waiting, weaving it. Cloud strikes, nobody's home. That's twice already, Agent A1. And Sonic's on the outside, recovers. Yeah, so I'm really curious Ooh. to see what Javi's going to be able to do with this limit because he is uh, going to be able to possibly translate that into a stock. But this limit, unlike the past game, does have a time limit on it. Uh, so he's going to have to use it soon. Yeah, he knew the time was coming. Just threw out yes. that uh, blade beam. But he's in, a good, he's in a good place. He can probably still take this stock. Yeah, this Cloud is crisp. Cloud is definitely looking for all openings. No lag at all on his side as both opponents are now at 100% and over. Cloud with a good block, moves into the center. Sonic hovering, hovering, looking for his spots. Mohamed Aliing it. Cloud swing and a miss, and that might be to his detriment, Chris. Yeah, it might be. Uh, and this is one of those positions where I think Cloud has a lot more ways to, actually, I shouldn't say that, but kind of has more ways to kill Sonic than Sonic does Cloud. Um, mm. The thing about Cloud is he's very vulnerable off stage, but as we've seen Hobby playing, he's sort of been controlling the stage all game, letting those up smashes rip because he knows if Zack lands into it, he is done. There and it again, is, there's Sonic. another one. There's another one, yeah. Again? Sonic is trying. Sonic is looking for that moment. See Cloud keeps swinging, misses. That's going to be a problem, but that's the upswing there with Cloud. Cloud looking for it with 140%, 155, and that's backboard elimination for our player from Mexico. Yeah, let's see. Uh, I mean, there's, there's, this isn't, this is a situation despite Zach being up that I think is a little better for Hobby because Really, all he has to do, he really wants to up smash, man. <laughs> I don't blame him, it's so fast, it's such a fast move and it will kill. Uh, dash attack will also kill. Um, I, I would say pretty much any of the aerials other than there will probably do the trick. But man, Zach, mm. really slippery. No, these, these, no. Cloud is continuing to look to knock out Sonic upward. Sonic with the roly roly. 153%, he's a full 100% over and still picking his spots. And he's doing so successfully. Net picking with that Sonic. Cloud here looks like he's on the defensive end as he has less percentage than Sonic. Sonic again with the roly roly, ruling him over from side to side. It looks like Sonic is almost controlling this match as Sonic has one extra stock over Cloud. Yeah, he really is controlling this match. And it looks like Hobby's having a really difficult time to land this final hit. Swing and a miss, and there it is. Yeah. Sonic is now down two <laughs> stock each with the Cloud at 95%. He's just like, yes, I got him. Yeah, yeah that, right? that's finally that looked that looked a little painful. Uh, you could tell Javi was really just, just looking for that solid connect, but, but right. Zach is so slippery. Of, you can almost feel the sigh of relief coming from the computer, like, oh, thank God. Yeah, <laughs> I, I won't be surprised to see if Javi's able to kind of bring this back percent wise. Uh, it's not, kind of one of those things when you get uh, kind of tunnel visioned on the kill, then the game starts to run away from you. But as I mentioned, Javi's a really really good player, uh, proven, kick. and. Yes. Able to make yep, it back oh, to stage. Cloud rebounds. Okay. Sonic doing the same thing over and over again. There it is, just hovering and picking his spots, waiting for Cloud to swing and miss so Cloud can just be taken yeah. advantage of. And as you can see, Cloud's recovery oh! just not being that great. Uh, really vulnerable off stage. Zach really taking advantage of it. All right. Game's almost tied here at 52 to 23 percent. Cloud looks like he's finally got into a little bit of a rhythm when it comes to timing down Sonic's attack. But if he's looking for an upward knockout, oh, he's gonna oh try no. a little. Oh! I don't know what happened there. What just it's... happened there? That's I... a finger slip, buddy. Yeah, I think just some. Yeah, I don't know if that was Wi-Fi yeah, stuff yeah. or if that was just a misinput. But I, I'll be honest he with had you. The grip. I think Kavi was a little frustrated with that whole first game, so you know he's gonna probably just settle down and come back at it game two, you know, it could be a totally different game. Uh, sometimes oh, game yeah. one and game two, you'll, you'll see someone just totally change up. And I don't know if Javi has other characters or not. I, I, I won't. I'm not entirely positive, but it uh, looks yeah, like it is going to be a stage up. switch anyways. But, yeah, I mean, I think he yeah. just sort of got frustrated that first game. I, I think that's kind of what happened. 
take a look at our Twitch chat. WebJP468 says Javi definitely gave up game one. Yeah, I, th I think so, man. I, it was just, oh, yeah. wow, Ridley. Oh, okay. we have a huge character change up here. Ridley. All right. Let's see. Oddly enough, Ridley, not the most char Ridley. Uh, popular character, but we get to see him quite a bit on this stream for one reason or another. So we're going to see him again. Default skin Ridley at that. This character is uh, strange, I guess, is, is the mm -hmm. word I'll use. Yeah, please describe this character and how we would see some gameplay. Granted, <laughs> Sonic is just taunting him at this point. Like, what do you want to do? He did the Ridley taunt, too. That taunt is so unsettling where he just kind of stands up tall and you're like, ugh. Okay. <laughs> Meanwhile, so, Ridley really hasn't taken any damage for the oh first few seconds. While the damage is 81%, Ridley is still practically invulnerable with just 9.5. And now Sonic is going to have, go ahead and change it using the same strategies, except that Sonic was pretty darn close to being knocked out. Cool. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, a, oh. Yeah, so, so Sonic. off the bat, you're going to notice uh, Ridley just has... I mean, Ridley, Ridley's recovery isn't fantastic, but it's better... It isn't fantastic because it doesn't have sort of like uh, the movement that a lot of similar recoveries have, but uh, it's a lot better than he has. Uh, that mm. being said, he's also really strong and also really, there you go, there's another up smash. Nina's trying to knock out, up swing, up swing, correct? Uh, up smash. Up smash, thank same, you. Same idea. The, the one that sends you up. So, all right, Got we'll it. see how much Javi could capitalize on this little bit of lead he has here. And I'm going to say probably pretty decently because just based off that first stock alone, this is just sort of sort of mounts up the percent early on. Already does have Zach at 26. But then on Twitch chat, we have EOSSB saying Ridley has one of the best smashes in the game. Uh, one of the best up smashes. That probably is true. Uh, it's pretty strong. Covers really good area. Very good anti-aerial. And Flying. get him that first kill. Oh! Eliminated by the Sonic. And notice that Sonic has changed up his technique quite a bit. Maybe he'll revert back to what he did in game one. I mean, that would be the safe bet. It sounds like uh, Zack is a bit of a defensive Sonic, if I'm understanding Twitch mm. chat correctly. I'm not familiar with him as a player, but I know a lot of the Wi-Fi guys in the chat are very familiar with him. Um, the Wi-Fi community is definitely... Uh, it's a good one. I actually appreciate these guys quite a bit. They're all kind of grinding on it. Yeah. Sonic, of course, nitpicking once again. Sonic doesn't do a lot of damage, but he's definitely annoying, and that's exactly how he's been knocking for off. 98%, now 106%. What is happening to Dear Ridley as this game is darn near close? That is it. Yeah. Ridley! There we go. That's that does be... it. I believe that's called Pirate Rush or Space Pirate Rush, whatever it is, uh, is going to take the stock. You can't always mash out of that at high percent. Low percent, you mash out. High percent, you're dead. So that is Javi recognizing that and landing it uh, is a command grab and does do the trick. So here we are once again, Javi, a little bit of a lead and counting. Smash. All Sonic mains can do is spin dash, homing attack, eat hot chip, and lie. Love it. Good comment in the Twitter section in the twin section. Really, again with the up smash, tried it. Tried it again, it's almost like volleyball out here. Yeah, it, it really is. Uh, he's been doing a great <laughs> job keeping him up there, and it, it's Zach's been coming down aggressively, and uh, Javi's identified that and has been punishing accordingly. Really and... just waiting for him to fail. Oh, that's a knockout to Ridley as he, as he comes back again. No stock, and Sonic is at 102%. Goodbye, up smash, game, Ridley. Yeah, this was a counter pick. This was a really good counter pick by Javi, and I'm starting to see already he's he's literally doing the up smash strategy at a shield, kind of waiting for Zach to do something spin dashy or, or whatever coming up or you know coming downward on his shield. Couldn't land the up smash with the cloud earlier. Goes Ridley and solves that issue. So it looks to be the proper counter pick, and uh, I don't know what we're gonna see out of Zach, but. Uh, <laughs> Oh man, I'm just laughing at this. Um, once again, if you're just joining our Twitch channel over here, smash.gg slash DNA for this for the bracket. United E League Federation dot GG and of course join our Discord. You guys are hilarious within this Twitch. Yeah, he really just keeps homing attacking. Someone else keeps saying, um, serve it up, Justin. We are playing volleyball. That's what it felt like. What a nice introduction of Ridley. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, man. Ridley is, he's interesting, to say the least. He is a really interesting yeah. character. There is, uh, the verdict's been out on how good he is, you know, for a while now. But wow, we are getting a... Metroid! Yeah, we are getting a, uh, 
What am Samus? I trying to say? Canonical matchup here. Uh, Ridley being okay. Samus's. Uh, Nemesis. Yeah. 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 So here we Let's go. Let's go and do it. it. Let's take it back to Nintendo. Let's take it back to 1989. Ridley, Samus, Smash on UEF. Yeah, exciting stuff. So here we go. Uh, Ridley, Samus. I don't think I've ever seen this despite uh, these guys being from the same universe. So we'll see how this plays out. Uh, obviously, Samus has all kinds of ways to keep you ranged out and collecting damage. And yeah, that up B is really, really good. Screw it. So if, if Ridley has that up smash, what would you say uh, Samus definitely has to his advantage? Is he more of a homer? Is he more of a smash? So, what type of character? So Samus is uh, very ranged. As you can see, all the projectiles coming out. And there's a lot of ways in which Samus could sort of... Wow. Colliding with that charge shot. But there's a lot of ways that Samus could sort of just hang out on one side of the stage, shoot stuff at you, make you run in until... Yeah, until she does that, jumps up, oh. and sets you on fire. Uh, and just like we do in video games, Samus so far is just kicking behind on his arch nemesis because Ridley now, in the, unlike previous games, has 115% as they both have three stocks. Metroid is just a different Metroid. Uh, Samus. Yeah, so what you're going to see here, uh, you're going to see Zack trying to beat um, Javi into jumping into that forward, uh, that forward air where you see like all the fire come out of out of the... Yeah, that right there. Yeah, there that it is. That will definitely kill Ridley right now and what... Okay, no. gonna survive. Okay. But yeah, so what's gonna happen is is Zach is gonna shoot out all kinds of projectiles and then try, and get, try and get Javi to jump into that fair, but doesn't even have to do that. Gets kill elsewise. Hmm. Samus is definitely oh, looking wow. for it. Samus is eliminated, and we have virtually a tie game, two stock each. Really with 18, currently with 52 after two hits. Samus now with 15. Now, there it is, there's that grab. Combo. Yeah, okay, so here we go. You're starting to see Zach do a really great job. Just sort of, uh, yeah, that distance keeping, here. Yeah, keeping Javi Ooh, out. Man. Keeping Javi out nice of his personal character. space. Yeah, Ridley, you look like a totally different character than the last game. Samus has got your number, or can you come back? Samus is a really tough character to play against, especially um, when you're expecting to play Sonic, I would say. Um, kind of a, just a different pace, but it does look like Javi is adjusting. And you really have to stay on top of Zach if you're going to want to yourself safe and I think Javi yeah. knows that uh, for it sure. Seems to be more of a seems like more of a game right now of technique and skill. A lot of these these play these two players have been really sharp with their attacks and Ridley right now is looking a totally different Ridley than when he was playing Sonic. I gotta tell you this doesn't look like it's the most fun matchup for Ridley. Um, mm -hmm. But I mean Javi's making it we're making it work the best he can, but dash attack is it looks so weird that that kills, but a lot of dash attacks in this game kill now. Hey, keep it up, Samus right here, keeping that distance. Oh, oh never mind. Ooh. Back kick, and that didn't work. That was close. Alright, so here we are. There's, there's a position uh, that right. Abby might be able to take advantage of. Does have Samus on the other side of the stage, and there we go. Oh, Space oh. Pirate Rush. That was close. Samus needs to come from the right side of the stage and get back to center. Ridley with some fire. Samus is trying to fight himself on that right ledge. Brings it back to center. It's a reset. Except Ridley stays on the attack. It's in up smash. Nope, not going to work. Samus is still hanging on the right-hand side. Samus is using that chain. And Ridley's there to follow. Eliminated. Yeah, smart. Waiting for the re-grab. Recognizing Zach hanging out on the ledge for a little bit too long now. And catching him on the recovery because you are not invulnerable if you just keep tripping to that ledge beyond one time. So Javi bringing this game back. Uh, there you go, Samus. Yeah, Zach still not manage. Here we go. Yes, yeah, it's tight. This is game three. This is for top 16. So uh, this this right. set really very much matters for both these players. Um, Javi, again, probably being uh, the more notable offline character. I know Zach sounds like he is a, a, a Wi-Fi uh, I don't mean Wi-Fi Warrior in the derogatory sense as much as I mean Wi-Fi Warrior like he's just playing on a Wi-Fi, which is good. Uh, so, so question, when, question, Chris Elodian, when you say a Wi-Fi Warrior, is there a difference between Wi-Fi play, uh, players and LAN players? So, like? <laughs> yeah, so that that's kind of the big thing that's happening now uh, since COVID happened. This game isn't best played online because there is some difficulties with like, oh my god, oh, god he just pulled that out. Baby. And I'm not surprised <laughs> to see it, but that is... That was a really good win, because uh, that was not looking good for a bit. But yeah, so uh, offline smash, no lag. You play one-on-one, -on -one, and there was massive scenes for that. That was, 
you know, at peak, uh, right before uh, all the pandemic stuff happened, there was a tournament, 100,000 viewers, concurrent viewers at one point for this tournament with like 1,000 entrants. So that was like the level that was hitting. Online's a little different. No one really does the gameplay playing. Uh, really, these tournaments should be region locked, technically. I don't do it for reasons. I'll talk about that another time. But the online gameplay is shaky. So the community is a little different. But then you also have this whole different group of players that play on Wi-Fi or online Smash versus offline Smash because that's just like what they have. Like maybe their parents aren't bringing the tournaments, maybe they don't care to go. But like, you know, all the events are online now, whereas there just wasn't that many before. So there's definitely a difference.